All right, part two of the solitary in a civic. This will be another short one. I can't upload videos more than like a minute or two reasonably. I changed the configuration so it doesn't look as much like a car today. And I left this window open because when people walk by, it creeps them out anyway. So can't see from the back or from the front. People are usually like, you know, that's like their shoulders. And so they might see in when they're coming or notice me in the mirror. So sometimes I put stuff here, like when I sleep. But during the day I've tried to, I don't usually leave it open, but it seems slightly less creepy. But yet over here, I'm still blocked uh, from the apartment side. So it's kind of like I have rear neighbors. Um, and then, Tidiness wise, I have to vacuum like every two or three days. That's the bad spot. I use my sock to push stuff there and then I can pick it up without the vacuum until it's too bad and then I vacuum everything. Uh, and it takes five or 10 minutes with the car running. I've only done it twice because I just got the vacuum. Sorry if you're getting motion sick. Um, I like to find trees and birds and plants and stuff for the fresh air and the peace they bring because Plants are alive and there's a field of energy around, so. I could sit in a parking lot for like days at a time during the day, but I wouldn't sleep there. It's just, I don't even like to sit to work and sleep in the same spot. Uh, sometimes I do during the pandemic. I, I mean, st stuff is safe, you know. I do stay in the same few spots. And they're very good neighborhoods, and it's, you know, 10 blocks from where my last apartment was. Uh, and right in between where my last two apartments were. Um, so you can probably guess if you're a local. I've lived in the city for 10 years, so I think people do things to harass me as though I'm a vagrant. But I just sit there and just endure it because I'm not a vagrant. And people have no right to treat me that way. I mean, I've mentioned examples. I don't sit here and dwell on stuff, but like I know when somebody is, you know, for lack of a better word, bullying me, um, could go so far as to say hate criming me because people pick on you because they see that you're weak. Like literally they see my greasy hair or greasy face, which, you know, I try, you know, I, I'm building the habit of wiping it every day. The showers closed a year ago, the library closed a year ago. So this last year has been major adaptation. I've been in the car for 1,021 days today, but uh, I was saying 1,020 plus yesterday because I didn't know the exact number, but it turns out it's 1021 today. So yeah, um, slight exaggeration yesterday, oh no. I guess 120 days plus a night, but yeah, anyway. 1,021 days today. This has to be short. We're running at like three minutes already and you've seen enough of my face. So everything packs up into here. This stuff packs down over to there. That's my computer. There's more pictures of this on Instagram. And it takes a long time per minute to upload. So I better stop this now. And Let's see. You can go to the, the video from yesterday morning. I had a light. You can see the features, at least. This is just more clarity. And, you know, the coffee, I keep extra coffee cups under there. That's just kind of stuff. It's not, it's not garbage overflowing out. <laughs> but, yeah. So this is a pretty bad time. And what I do if I'm feeling stuck is I just stop and I clean something. So we're at four minutes. Uh, have a beautiful rest of your day. Enjoy the rain.